pumpkins with me. He's very cute today. He's got a tie on. I'll show you in just a second. Huh, pumpkin. Here, here. <laughs> here, sweetie. Can you show them your tie? Oh, here, look. Pumpkin has a bow tie. You gonna go over here? Here you are. I don't know if you can see. But there he is. He's got his little bow tie on. He's looking pretty cute today, I think. <laughs> oh, is that Easton? I think Easton's here. Can you say hi to Easton? Let's look in our magic mirror and see who's here today. Hello, friends. It is Easton. Hi, Easton. Hi, girls. It's so nice to see you. And is that Theodore? I haven't seen you in such a long time. Hi, Theodore. And... Jordy, hi Jordy, hi Noah, hi Cece, hello Sybil, hi Rand, hi Reagan, it's so good to see you all. Thank you for coming to Circle Time today with me and Pumpkin. I don't know if you can see him, but he's looking, looking pretty dapper. I gave him a bow tie. I did, it's pretty cute. <laughs> um, I also see my friends. Joan and Miles and Leela and Flora. Hi, friends. And, oh, there's Sybil. I thought I saw her before. Hi, Sybil. Hi, I'm so glad you're at Circle Time. Who do you see, Pumpkin? Who do you see? <gasps> Pumpkin sees Sage and Nash. Hi, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, I even see my friend. Antonio! Hi, Antonio! It's nice to see you, too. I'm so glad you're all here at Circle Time with me today. I'm going to lift the magic mirror up and over the camera. You ready? Here I go. Yes! There we are. We're all together. I don't know if you can see my friend Pumpkin over here. He's being kind of silly. He's got a little bow tie on. Which makes him look very dapper. He's happy to be at Circle with us. Yesterday he was hiding, wasn't he, Sybil? He didn't come. He didn't get on. But now he's here. I'm going to remove my big clock and put it over here. And I'm going to sing a song. You want to help me? Let's sing a song together. It's a funny one. It goes like this. You ready? Oh, Indiana! Hi, Indiana! Hi, Verbena! I'm so glad to see you, too, at Circle Time. Here's the song. It rhymes. Does anybody know what rhyming is? Okay, let me explain. It's when two things end in the same sound, like cat and hat, if I had a hat on. So, oh, pumpkin, come here. You want to go over here? Come over here. Or bear and hair. That's a rhyme. We're going to sing a song um, called Down by the Bay. Have you ever heard that song? Down by the bay. Sing it with me if you know. Can you sing it? We sing this at Circle all the time because my friends love to choose a rhyme. We have cards like this and we pick out two things that rhyme. Here's a picture of a log and a dog. Log and dog rhyme. So in the song we would say down by the bay where the watermelon grows Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, there's Pumpkin, sitting right up there looking stoic. <gasps> Have you ever seen a dog sitting on a log down by the bay? It's a really silly one, isn't it? You can make up all sorts of silly rhymes when you sing that song. All right, I have some to share with you. Hmm, let's see if we can 
help each other figure it out, okay? If I said duck, that's a good one. You could say truck, duck, truck. Good morning, Wilder. Hi, Ryder. It's so good to see you. All right, so let's work together. Antonio's on too. Good morning. Duck, truck, cat, hat, bear, hair. Let me give you another one and you tell me what you think rhymes with it. Pig. Great idea. I heard someone say wig. And I also heard someone say fig. That's right. Pig, fig. Pig, wig. They're silly rhymes, aren't they? I'm so glad that you guys are here and we can sing this song together. Let's start. We can use our hands like this. We can clap. Or we can use them on our lap. I'm going to use them on my lap. You do whatever you want with your body. Here we go. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, have you ever seen a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, have you ever seen a moose kissing a goose, down by the bay, Mwah. So you can think of rhymes that go with all those different words together, right? I'm going to see if you can guess what word I'm thinking of when I say a word. Star. Did you say car? Noah, that's what I was thinking. Star, car. Those two words rhyme. Nice job. Hey, is that my friend Grady? Hi, Grady. Good morning, Ainsley. I'm glad you're here at Circle Time, too. Let's see. Snake. What? Snake? Something that's yummy to eat when it's your birthday? Easton, did you say cake? Snake, cake. They rhyme. Nice job, friends. Here we go. How about this one? House. Hmm. What rhymes with house? That's small and squeaky. Did you say mouse? You did? That's right, Una. House, mouse. They rhyme. Great job, friends. Let's think of another one. Tree. Tree? Bee! I heard it! Somebody's buzzing like a bee out there! Tree, bee! They rhyme! Great job! Let's see. Moon rhymes with something you eat cereal or soup with. Moon rhymes with did you say spoon? You friends are so clever. That's right, moon rhymes with spoon. Nice rhyming. Um, I've got, let's see, one more. Oh, 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 this is for Cece. The rhyming word is boat. It's for everybody, but Cece likes this animal a lot. Boat rhymes with goat. You got it. Boat, goat. Goats are Cece's favorite animal. Oh, there's Grady and Ainsley. I'm so glad you came to Circle Time. Thank you for joining us. We were just talking about rhyming words. Things that rhyme. 
Hmm. What about, I've got one, shower, like outside when it's a rain shower, and something people pick and then smell. That's right. Did somebody say flower? Shower rhymes with flower. Great job finding the rhyming words, friends. All right, let's do one more with our song. You ready? Down by the bay, where the watermelon grows, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, have you ever seen a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay. So today when you're looking around, see if you can find things that rhyme. Not only the color of the day, but items that might rhyme. Like clock would rhyme with, what do you wear on your feet? Did somebody say it? I heard you, sock. Clock, sock. Nice rhyming. Clock rhymes with sock. I bet everybody can find a clock and a sock in their house. That's right, Rand. I haven't done the color of the day. Would you like to help me? You would? Great. Where is the knock-knock door? Does anybody see the knock-knock door? Pumpkin? Yes, you do see it. It's behind me. Oh, Grumpy Bear. Grumpy Bear is watching over the knock-knock door. Here's the knock-knock door, friends. The knock-knock door is a special thing we use at Helping Hands when we want to figure out a mystery. Today's mystery, thank you, Jordy. I found it next to the bear, thank you. The mystery is the color of the day. Okay, so we knock on the door and we sing our song and we figure out what the color of the day is. Does anybody have a guess what the color of the day might be? Do you think so? The color of the day is somewhere in this room. Good guess! I saw, Sybil said brown. Brown is Sybil's favorite color. It's a really great one because it's the same color as mud, isn't it? And Ben and Caleb love mud, don't you guys? Brown, hmm. Brown could be the color, that's a great guess. Does anyone else have a guess? What's the color, what's the color? What's the color of the day? Is it purple? Is it orange? Is it red or is it gray? Gray like my big fluffy pillow is gray. It's always good to have a big fluffy pillow nearby in case you need something cozy to snuggle with. Thanks. What do you think, pumpkin? Do you like it? Want to sit on my big gray pillow? <laughs> He's thinking about it, guys. He's thinking about it. All right, let's see. The color of the day is... Oh, red! Did you guess red? The color of the day is red, friends. That's a great color to talk about today. Red rhymes with red... Red, hmm, red rhymes with, <gasps> Rachel, did you guess head? You're right, red rhymes with head. It also rhymes with, <sighs> bed, I'm gonna go to sleep again. <sighs> just kidding, I just got up, not that long ago. All right, I think in my big bag, 
I have some things that are red. Do you want to see? You do? Great. <clears throat> What's in my bag today? What's in my bag, friend? Oh, wow. I found the calming jar. The calming jar is full of red glitter, isn't it? Red glitter. The color of the day is red. Do you remember how to use the calming jar? Does anybody? That's right. Grady knows. You shake it up. Ainsley told me too. And then you let all of the glitter slowly fall. And as it does, you can take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. So in like you're smelling a flower and out like you're blowing out a candle. And before you know it, all of the glitter in the jar will be settled at the bottom or the top. That's why we call it a calm down jar. Rand, do you have a calm down jar? You made one? Clever friend. It's not that hard to make them. You might have the things that you need in your house. You have to ask a grown up for a little bit of help. Let me tell you how to make it. You ever heard of corn syrup? You have? Corn syrup is a great recipe for making a calm down jar. You might have something else in your kitchen that would work too, or oil or um, baby oil works really well. I'll put some recipes on after this circle. But I use cornstarch, I'm mean not cornstarch, uh, corn syrup and some red glitter and I put it all on the bottom. And then I added some warm water and I shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it, shook it. I shook it right up. And then before I knew it, it looked like this. I'll put my calm down jar over here and we can look at it later and see how calm it is. What was I doing? The color of the day. Oh, yes. So we did the color of the day and Pumpkin has a red bow tie on. <laughs> he is looking pretty snazzy with the color of the day. There's some more things in here that are the color red. Look what I found, friends. A red cap to a pouch. A lot of friends come to school with pouches. I bet you could find one of those in your house. Um, ooh, a red circle. A red coin. But you could probably find a red cap. I don't know. You'll have to look and see. Oh, I found a red pom-pom. Oh, Mallory's making some great suggestions. Recipes for calm down jars. Thank you, Mallory. Oh, another shape. A red, that's right, triangle. Great identifying color, um, shapes and colors. A red triangle. Oh, and here's our friend the ladybug from yesterday. So many friends enjoyed the ladybug song. A lot of people asked me if I would sing it again. And I would love to sing it again. And then I have one more thing to show you. Okay, friends? Here we go. If you don't have a ladybug finger puppet, you can just use your finger. <laughs> Sometimes I've also used, oh, sorry friends. I've also used a pouch cap. If you, if you have finger is little enough, which my smaller friend's fingers will work, you could put it right on the end of your pinky or your pointer finger and you can sing the song too. I'll wait for you. <clears throat> Pumpkin loves this song. Here we go. 
Ladybug, ladybug, landed on my shoulder, crawled onto my neck, and up to my nose. <laughs> ladybug, ladybug, landed on my head, and then she flew away. And then she flew away. Ladybugs. They're a sign that spring is almost here. Spring brings the ladybugs out. The other day, I saw a ladybug on the windowsill. Just crawling along. It's pretty cute. I'm gonna put, um, <laughs> Pumpkin. Pumpkin, you are busy today. I'm going to put this here for Pumpkin, because Pumpkin is interested in this snack, which I don't blame him. Here you go. And I'm going to show you an experiment. There's lots of things to find in your house right now that might work for experimenting or for crafts like that. I know a lot of us are trying to keep busy with ideas. And this is one, I call it the potion work. <laughs> if you don't have all these ingredients, parents, do not worry because your toddlers and preschool friends will love just to play with water and pour and dump and pour and dump. But if you do have them, you can do some experiments. I have some baking soda, which you might have in your kitchen, and I have some white vinegar, and I'm using the color of the day, red spoon to scoop my vinegar and put it on top of the baking soda. Potions. Do you like to make potions? Do you like to bake? A lot of people have been baking since we've been home. It's kind of comforting. Pumpkin's not sure. I'm going to do this really close to the camera so you can see what happens. Okay, you ready? What do you think will happen if I put white vinegar on top of baking soda? Does anybody have a guess? Rand, did I hear you say it will fizzle, fizzle, fizzle? <laughs> fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. It's something it, don't, it will do. Let's see together. <clears throat> Here's the baking soda. Hear that? It's making a fizzle. I'm going to pour it now because I think that might be more helpful. And you listen. You did that in helping hands. Yes, you did. It's a fun thing to do. At home, I don't have any food coloring, so I couldn't make my water, I mean vinegar, I couldn't make it red. But at home, if you have food coloring, you could even use different colors. Would you like to hear it one more time before we say goodbye? Here we go. I remember when we did this in the toddler room, and Una was doing it with me, and Ainsley, and Sybil, and Cece, and Wilder. We did it, and they said they thought it sounded like the ocean. I think it sounds like the ocean, too. If you try this at home, will you tell me what you think it sounds like? And if it fizzle, fizzle, fizzled? Great. I wanted to show you one more thing before I say goodbye. <clears throat> I have some uh, cards that I am sending out to my friends. I've got about 15 going in the mail today. And I hope, 
I hope they come soon. I don't know how the mail's doing these days. It seems to be on time and seems to be doing okay, but be patient because it might take a few days for the mail to come. If you want me to send you a card, I'd be very happy to. And you just have to private message me your address and I will put a card in the mail for you. It's been so lovely to have this time together. I miss you. Pumpkin misses you too. <laughs> All right, let's say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm glad that you were here. Be safe. Be gentle. Be kind. Love you. Bye.